Hello everyone, this is Vicent G with another quick tutorial on how to make a stamina slash HP bar for your game that is similar to Dark Souls. Um, and it's really simple. Like this will take you about five minutes. Uh, it may take you longer because it will take me longer to explain, but if you're going to replicate this after learning from me, it will take you about five minutes. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is make a HUD object. Now I've already pre-made this stuff because again I don't want to make 30 minute videos and just making all this takes a bit of time. So this HUD object does not need any graphics or anything. You're just going to have the default state. Now you can see all these different states. Um, but first we need to make this HUD object appear. So we're going to put it on our menu scene. As you can see here, it's invisible because it doesn't have any graphics, right? This is just a placeholder, basically. So it's right there on the menu scene. And then you need to make sure that all of your scenes have the menu loaded. So default menu right there and preload the other one, or preload it as well. That way, like if you see on stage two, it's not loaded. So if I play the game, you can see the temporary system we have. It disappears because it's not on menu two, or it's not on stage two. So make sure that in your scene settings, you make this here. I usually preload it. Not sure if that's totally needed, but why wouldn't you? All right, so now let's make the actual bars. If you're not using this system and you already have one, then you only need the variable half of this. But if you don't have an HP bar or a stamina bar, you can do it this way. Your HUD object, you just go into display and parent-child relationship, just click this, and then you can make a bar. So you're gonna set the bar's value to the player's HP. Player HP, simple show as gauge. This is the color when it's full, this is the color when it's not. Set the gauge upper limit is the maximum, so you want it set to max HP. Player, max HP. Super simple. Here you can adjust the size. The offset is defaultly the center, so if this thing is 78 wide, 78x, that's how wide it is, the center is going to be 39 pixels to the left of your object. So I have it set to 40. And as you can see, here it is. The center is about here. But you can see in my scene, sorry, in my menu scene, this is also off to the side. So if I move this closer, you can see it gets closer to the edge. So that's why it's basically about half. So make sure you at least put half of this here. And then I just put a little bit here just to uh, move it down a little bit. So that's the HP bar. And you do the exact same thing for stamina. Now there is no default stamina, so you will have to go into the player object, variable management, and add two variables with this button. Name one stamina, max stamina, and then you'll literally do the exact same thing. Player stamina, player max stamina, set your colors, same size. X stays the same. Y, you need to add this Y to this so that it's under the bar. And then I added an extra two so that there's a little bit of a gap, which you can see there, there's a little gap just looks a little nicer instead of just stacked right on top of each other. And then um, don't follow parent object. Stick to parent. I don't even think this matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter because this is a completely separate object from this object. Now, we've got that done. Now that you have your variables, you need to make them cost and be used for checks, right? So to attack should take stamina. So we're gonna change variable 
stamina minus 10. Simple. And that's going to make it so when you push the button to attack, it costs stamina. Now, we also want it to not regenerate stamina because we've all played Dark Souls, right? You don't regenerate stamina instantly, as you can see like this, right? So we need to make a way for it not to regenerate. So we're going to make another switch called No Regen. And we're going to turn that on here. So basically when you attack, you set No Regen to on, so that way it doesn't start regenerating instantly. And then that's going to go here. Stamina. If No Regen is on from your default state, it's going to sit here until time passes and no regen is off, right? Or actually you, you can make this a closed loop so you don't need this to be here you just make it loop back and then make it go back to default if player no regen is off now if player no regen is on oh wait I'm sorry I'm sorry cancel that cancel that change unconditionally So basically this is going to be your timer. So when no regen is on it's going to go here and then it's going to wait until half a second goes by then it's going to turn it off. I'm getting ahead of myself and making it completely more advanced system. So yeah this is just going to go after half a second it's going to let you regenerate stamina again. So that's what's making the delay. And you saw if I turned it off by ignoring this it just starts regenerating instantly. Now, how does it regenerate? We make a regenerate state, right? When player stamina is under max stamina, go here. And make sure no regen has to be off. And then it will add one stamina to player. And then after a small amount of time, it will loop back to default and it will keep doing that. If your regen is higher than one to where it could pass your max stamina, obviously one will never pass a hundred. Ninety-nine will become a hundred every time. So if you have one, you have overcap stamina, which has a check. If player stamina is over player max stamina, go here and set player stamina to player max stamina and then go back unconditionally so this will just stop it from going to 101 or 102 or whatever and now we just need to do it when you're running so you need another switch I'm sorry player I put walking because I didn't feel like actually adding running, so in the game it will look like walking. But you just make another switch, and then when you go into your run state, you're going to have it set to on. And then everything in your game that run connects to, you need to turn it off. Like I said, in my game it's going to be walking. So you can just copy, click this, copy, walk goes back to wait, so turn it off. Walk goes to attack, so add it here. Walk goes to jump, turn it off here. Walk goes to save location, but this takes a split second and goes back to here, which turns it off, so you don't have to technically add it here. And that's everything that it connects to. So that way, in your game, when you're sprinting, it will drain stamina. And then you need to make sure that in your links to walk, that one, that they're separate, because if you have both directions in here, you can't use all conditions because your player's not going to hit left and right to go a direction, right? So you need to split the links and then also add stamina is over one so that you have enough stamina to walk. Well, 
to run in your game. So as you can see here, my player will stop because you're out of stamina. Now you can refine this if you want by adding, you know, uh, other loop checks. Basically, you could add another switch that doesn't turn off here. Um, that says like no regen, like you're walking. Have it turn no regen, and then that way, so you can't just skip like I was doing. Like it won't regen, let you walk for a second. You know, you can fine tune that yourself. But um, basically, you're just gonna set if walking is on, which in your game again would be running, then subtract player stamina. And then it's gonna link to sprinting check, because again, it should be running, 0.1 seconds. So there's a delay. You don't want it to instantly drain all of your stamina. It's gonna go here after 0 0.01. And then if player is still walking, it's going to go back to walking and take more stamina. If the player is not walking, walking is off, after half a second, it will just go back here and start regenerating. You can turn this down to make it regenerate as soon as you stop sprinting, you know, or you can add a time delay like I had. And that's all you need here for this object. And that's all you need here. You turn on your switches when you do the proper attacks, and you turn them off when you're not doing the proper attacks. You know? And I'm pretty sure that's all you need for this tutorial. Just make sure that you have your switches um, as conditions and your stamina as a condition. If you don't have your stamina as a condition, it doesn't matter if you don't have any stamina, you'll still be able to attack because you're not checking if stamina is high enough to do an attack. So I hope this tutorial was useful. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one. Please leave a like and a comment if you have any questions or if you enjoyed it or if this helped you at all. Just let me know. Thanks.